So if you've been looking to achieve a little bit more power in the golf swing, how can a speed ruler help you accomplish that goal? Hi guys, my name is Peter Finch and I'm joined down here by Danny Maud. We're here at Canterbury Golf Club and today we are going to be talking about the speed ruler and exactly how you can generate a little bit more power within the golf swing. Now speed ruler Danny, what on earth are we actually talking about here? I think this is just uh, helping golfers to understand how they transfer weight effectively uh, into the downswing so they can generate extra power, almost effortless power as opposed to that brute force that generally comes from the upper part of the body. Okay, that's simple enough. Let's, uh, let's see how you do that then. So using the speed ruler and using weight transfer, this is something which so many golfers struggle with. And I think it's probably born out of the fact that the ball is still, still is and it is on the ground. So, so many people as they're coming through impact, trying to hit and then kind of lifting up to try and get that ball up in the air, weight shifting backwards, spine tilting away excessively. When we all know really instinctively from other sports that we need our weight transferring forwards through the hitting area. So this is something which, like I said, so many people struggle with. And we're gonna talk about a couple of drills that we can use here. In order to get a lovely ball turf strike and that power through impact, you've got to learn to transfer your weight through the impact area. And, and what you'll find with a lot of decent players here is when they're winding back here, they're loading this trail leg here. So they feel a lot of pressure in this, in this side here. And when they're coming down, they're kind of pushing that weight into their lead foot and you'll see the top players it's almost moving to like 80 and 90 percent of the weight moving in here question is that sounds quite mechanical and uh, i see a lot of people kind of trying to do it by swaying to their right hand side and swaying to the left and we've got to come up with some drills that make it a lot simpler so peter sure. i have one special drill just for you on how golfers can actually transfer their weight far more naturally it looks complicated but it isn't a man of uh, Phil, uh, peter's uh Skill, so let's have a look. Now, I would, I would love to say that this is, uh, this is completely natural and I don't know what's coming, but <laughs> I do. I do know what's coming because we've had a discussion about basically a step drill. So actually using a, a drill where the left foot comes up for a right-hander and you basically step into impact to actually simulate what that big transfer of weight would be. I like to see that left leg kind of straightening up through the point of impact as well. And then Danny came up with this super simple drill which actually puts the ball in motion, which surprised me. I've not used this one before, but it's fantastic. Really, really good. You ready? I, I say that. <laughs> I say that, I'm so not done it The yet. great thing about this drill, I, I use it with uh, beginner golfers and it is surprising how easy it is. So let's see how professional Peter Finch can, can get on well with this one. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm so worried about hitting the ground there. <laughs> Really? It was a dodgy roll. It was a terrible roll. Dodgy roll, dodgy roll. I'll print it for you. Oh! Oh! oh he ripped Connected. It. Beautiful. Oh. It's it's amazing, isn't it? I mean, it's often something that I kind of joke about yeah. with um, kind of the players who come in for lessons with me is about how golf could potentially be easier if the ball was actually moving rather than being still Absolutely. on the ground. Absolutely. Because that there was a reaction. So I went, I stepped, so used the step drill, and then I reacted into the ball. So because it was moving, I did have to adapt a little bit. I had to adjust a little bit, but the actual movement into the ball was actually much more natural. And golfers just don't have enough time to kind of think about all the mechanics on the way down. So they generally form, they naturally form a much better squat into the impact. And as you saw there, you transfer your weight perfectly, sir. So. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So another drill that I really like to use as well, just a heel to heel drill, which kind of frees a lot of golfers up as far as kind of weight transfer back and through. So just getting set up and on the backswing, sticking the weight into the right heel and on the way through, sticking the weight into the left heel. So it's just that transfer from foot to foot. And what I kind of like about that is it doesn't get players too much onto the toes as well, which is often Absolutely. an issue. A lot of people, I think certainly there's, the brain's a funny thing, isn't it? I think so many golfers, when you say try and travel left, actually the brain says, okay, I know what that means. It means go this way for whatever reason. Absolutely. That is something I find. So getting that little drill where it's just getting set up, very simple, only short swings into the right heel and then into the left heel 
as you actually move through. That is literally and the looked, best strike of a goal shot I have had in about two months. <laughs> <laughs> it, looks so, it just looks so natural, doesn't it? <laughs> what, what have you used with your players as well? What have you kind of got as far as these transfer um, drills? I've got a, um, a mixture, but I suppose it's kind of finding something that um, people can possibly repeat out on a golf course as well. I think sometimes um, I've used, um, obviously, the step drills have been quite common, but I find people, a lot of golfers out there, they really struggle to transfer something like that direct to a golf course. So I came up with what I call the Elvis move. Okay. Where, uh -huh. I, I go, you've done a video on this. Uh -huh. <laughs> Seamless link coming up here in the video to this so, one. Um, so, yeah, basically, it's kind of not something you never necessarily have to do all the time, but... A lot of people, like I said, they get so rooted to the deck when they're over the golf ball that they end up very, very static here. So a great exercise is actually just to kind of get the, the left or the lead foot up here and then the trail foot. And you kind of get this sensation of both legs moving. It's a great way of, in a sense, getting them a bit more active. The king, <laughs> the, the king, king lives. <laughs> so let's have a look at kind of what this looks like. So when you work on this exercise, you want to start in front, sling it to the back here and then slam it down so great fun exercise start in front slam it to the back and then slam that lead foot down on the way fight it's a fun exercise and uh, works really really nice uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so guys hopefully that gives you a little bit more information on how you can transfer your weight more effectively and use your body to deliver that extra ounce of power danny huge huge thank you mate thank you so much Thanks for helping out with these videos Great fun. really really appreciate it and guys if you don't know about danny if you've not checked out his channel make sure you go in the description below click on those links and see what he is all about if you are new to this channel make sure you hit that subscribe button as well that like button and follow us on our other social media platforms which are also linked in the description below so thanks for watching guys i'll see you down here next time